Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about radical equations, and we're going to solve each equation, and remember to check for our extraneous solutions. So if I was given this equation, the square root of negative 16 plus 10a equals a, well first step, I need to square both sides. Let's get rid of that radical. Squaring both sides, negative 16 plus 10a equals a squared. Let's bring everything over to the right hand side, leaving a 0 here equals a squared minus 10a plus 16. Okay? So now we think to ourselves here, what two numbers multiplied to 16 add to be negative 10? And that ends up being, right? Ends up being negative 8 and negative 2, right? Double negatives multiplied to be positive, and they add together to be at negative 10. Great. Set both parts equal to zero, so I'm left with our answer here in solving it. A equals eight and a positive two. All right, so eight is eight and positive two, so now I need to check both of those. So let's check them. Check for extraneous solutions here. So let's do A equals eight first, okay? I have my square root, negative 16 plus 10 times A equals A. Let's plug eight in for A here. Negative 16 plus uh, 10 times a, or 8 equals 8. 10 times 8 is 80, so we have negative 16 plus 80 equals 8. And what's 80 minus 16? That's going to give us a 64. So we have square root of 64 here equals 8. Square root of 64 is just 8. And so 8 equals 8. Fantastic. That's a true statement. We're making that a equals 8. True, not extraneous. But we have two parts. Let's check both of them. A equals 2. So I'm going to rewrite our equation. Negative 16 plus 10a equals a. And we're going to plug in 2 in. So we have negative 16 plus 10 times 2 equals 2 here. Okay? Well, 10 times 2 is 20. So we have negative 16 um, plus 20 equals 2. Negative 16 plus 20 is 4. So we have uh, 4 here equals 2. Square root of 4 is 2. And in this case, my left and right hand side also are equal. So that makes both of these a equals 8 and 2, or 2 and 8. It's a little nicer. Let's make it nice and neat, Sean. Come on. You're better than that. 2 and 8 here. 2 and 8 are true solutions, right? None are extraneous. So let's recap. We are given our equation, we squared both sides to get rid of the radical, brought everything on one side to have a quadratic, and we factored it. After we factored it, we set both parts equal to zero and got a equals eight and a equals two as our two possible solutions, right? We had to check them, see if any are extraneous. Plugged eight in, simplified. As we simplified it, left, uh, simplified it, simplified, left and right hand side were equal, both being eight. So we confirm that a equals eight here since we're equal. True solution, let's try the other one. A equals 2 went in, plugged it back into my original equation. Be careful not to do the squared either, it's the original equation. Okay, the square root of negative 16 plus 10a equals a. Simplified it, kept everything on their own side there. As we simplified it, we got 2 on the left, 2 on the right. Both were equal to each other, which is great. They're the same, meaning a equals 2 is a true solution. None were extraneous here. So I rewrote it this time, right, having from least to greatest. And so my two answers, not extraneous solutions, right, not extraneous solutions, they're real answers here. And they are A equals 2 and 8. 